What is going on guys? It's Kojo Forest aka GBP Emperor aka Emperor of Blues. Today I'm back on your screens with another interesting video. Very insightful one, especially for beginners. If you've just started out to learn how to trade, this is something that you're going to love. It's titled Beginner's Guide to Sniper Entry Strategy. Now if you may have known me, Sniper Entry has been a movement for the past three years. You guys know that Kojo Forest is the sniper trader. He just gets that entry that is totally insane. I've basically taught thousands of people mentored thousands of people and taught this strategy out to millions of people through my youtube video which is basically having that insane entry at the beginning of a swing point or at the reversal of any swing direction it became a whole new concept that everybody sought to look into just literally get a piece of that insight into how are you able to coach you for get that entry at the very top of the market or at the very bottom before that swing point literally takes off and then it became a wave everybody wanted to look into it and i gladly taught it out to the public and everybody now just understands the whole concept and then you can clearly see so many people almost always sending me trade results of getting that refined beautiful sniper entries that just makes them capitalize on catching huge potential pip movement as to the formal strategies that people use which literally involve their chart patterns and the breakout strategies right and then using of moving averages and whole lot that does not necessarily in any way possibly get you to get that sniper entry which is entering just right before the market takes off before i get into this video make sure to click in the link in the description to join the coach of Forest telegram community because i drop these sniper entry signals for the community members for free we're currently sitting around 33,100 members make sure to also connect with me on all social media at k-o-g-o-f-o-r-e-x coach of forex and then click in the link in the description to register my recommended broker which is xness fast reliable broker instant withdrawal and then the tightest of spread yes so let's get right into the forex video so in this video i'm basically rewinding to teach beginners perhaps you just literally came across the coach of forex channel you're thinking about this guy's always call himself sniper trader how do i get started with sniper entry strategy so there are several concepts that i use to find these entries some very complicated and some as basic as it can be right so we have the fundamental influence that literally allows me to get this sniper entry we have the technical influence which is like the trend line fibonacci support resistance demand supply zone candlestick patterns reversal signals and all a lot of information that goes into being able to find these entries but today all i'm about to do is to teach you as a beginner step by step basis and then we're going to start with one of the very concept that allows me to get that sniper entry and then i'm going to plug you in as a beginner to the first one the most efficient one of course so that you can be able to learn back test try it out and then subsequently as i shoot more videos guiding you on how to get sniper entry you eventually find out that you're going to be able to carve out a strategy for yourself and then use to trade right so already i've mentioned that i use several concepts in finding my sniper entry but for a beginner i'm going to teach you the most important one which is like the demand and supply one or what i call support and resistance ones right so if you've ever watched any other youtube video that has sought to explain what demand and supply is or support and resistance is their concept may be totally different from the way i explain support and resistance or demand and supply right so when it comes to me because of my background in finance accounting and economics i can explain things theoretically and relate them practically on the chart right so if you ever had an opportunity to learn economics what price ceiling was or price floors was right so price ceiling was basically any price point above which the market failed to go any higher and then price floor is any price point below which the market failed to go any lower so with that economic concept then price ceiling and price floor to me literally becomes demand and supply or support and resistance price zones right so all it means is that once i am literally watching the market and then it's going up let's say it's going up hit a particular point and then start to reverse in the opposite direction this point here literally becomes what i term as a price ceiling because economic wise just like i explained is a price point above which the market failed to go any higher so in the same vein then this one becomes my resistance right and then let's say it's coming down again and in the opposite direction all of a sudden hit a particular point and start going this way then this is my price floor which is what the price point below which the market failed to go any lower again becoming my support level right so it can be my support level which you can call 
um the demand zone or my resistance level which you can call the supply zone right so supply want to sell in supply zones and then we want to buy in demand zones right so with this then all i am turning to do is that remember this is the first concept for sniper entry the easiest one of course right all i'm trying to do is that remember again that when we're trading on the market we're saying we're using technical analysis and then technical analysis literally defines itself as the study of the market and its turning point right or using historical price data to predict future or anticipate future events happening so if you actually say technical analysis is the study of trends and turning point then it means that you always want to look at is the market going on overall uptrend or necessarily looking at where is it likely to be a turning point in the market and if you apply the same concept being the using of historical price information to predict future price movement we're seeing that what had happened on the market previously okay at this point what happened is it likely that when the market gets to this point again it's going to repeat the same thing that is those concepts that we use in finding or the concept around which our sniper entry strategy is built right so just like i've explained let's say this market literally comes back here then we ask ourselves that what happened here previously here when it hits here it dropped so is it likely to drop again when it hits here then that means we are trading technically right so because it is likely to drop here we want to just start speculating within this range that the market is going to drop but is it guaranteed just that the mere fact that it got to that point is going to drop no that's why we add certain confluences right so the word confluence literally means using other strategical informations in the market which literally communicates the same thing right same direction in the market this one is saying it's going to drop the other one is also saying it's likely to drop you add the two you get a confluence and a confluence make a trade decision right so gone are the days where a market is just going to hit a support zone or a resistance zone. everybody just start jumping into it these days more confluences more validity so we want to wait and then look out for certain reactions which exactly is what i'm about to teach you before we take those trade executions right then it makes our work easier so you realize that you're going to find your trade entry here when all those confluences align and you're going to have a trade setup for a sell here and then watch the market literally drop so once you have that trade setup for a sell here what you want to do is that you want to place your entry your stop loss just right above the last week of the range pay your confirmation and then anticipate the market to come down to the next support level and if you're trying to find a buy trade the opposite is also true so in the sense that let's say we have the support level out here like that and then the market keeps trickling down and then it gets to this level we're asking ourselves the same question that just because it went up here is it likely to go up there it's a question of a doubt so because it is a speculative question they want to wait out for other confirmation which like i said makes up for the confluence before we make that trade decision to to want to buy or just ignore that trade setup which i'm going to explain perfectly for you guys right so here if we find a confluence that allows us to want to buy into this trade then again remember that what we use our risk to reward tool to potentially measure where we can put our stop loss and also how far this market can go and we anticipate i take profit from the next resistance level it's as easy as that the most easiest of the sniper entry strategy that's what i'm saying how to get started from the beginner stage looking into sniper entry so remember that with all this concept then it allows you to get into the market from the beginning of the range right as to just waiting for a breakout and then looking to trade in the opposite direction so let's take some practical examples let's make this video as short as possible so that you would just be able to try it out right now i explained that gone are the days where people used to look at support and resistance in a very different way where like the market goes up like this comes down goes up like this comes down goes up and then they see that okay there are, there are so many reversal rejections in this range so next time when the market comes into this range then it's likely to sell these are old school level of understanding support and resistance and then here what it means psychologically is that not only you are you going to be aware that the market literally dropped from this range there are a whole lot of retail traders looking into the same region and then this is where usually you have fake out and then you have manipulations as most people like to call it happening here and then market literally going in the opposite direction so you don't want to be that trader that waits for the bounce 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 and then now want to jump in when it is so evident and clear use the smart way right so looking at the concept that i've already taught you let's start with nasdaq right so you can clearly see that when you look at nasdaq from this angle the market had been trading all the way up it hit this point 
and then what happened we can clearly see that what the market dropped and then when it dropped what did we see happen again it started to go up remember these are all trading trading setup that happened for this week alone per the concept that i'm showing you it goes all the way up what do we observe it doing it rejects here from the first candle rejects here for the second candle and literally start dropping here from the third subsequent candle and then literally trickles its way all the way back down like this right so in this kind of scenario what do you do just as the market got to this point you want to be patient because you don't want to be that trader that jumps in front of a moving train right you don't know how far the market can go so that's why you want to be patient and watch reactions that are going to happen above that trading range so once you see something beautiful as this and then it keeps rejecting like i said once you have had your confirmations you want to put your stop loss just above the last high of this candle and anticipate the market to come back into the very lows of the range like this right so you can clearly see that what your take profit would have been smashed in a setup like this so easy so simple right let's go into the next one which is euro nzd you can clearly see for euro nzd also that when we put out this wick here right it kind of cuts out into this support level remember that the support and resistance levels or the demand and supply zone that we pick up we use the wicks right we don't use the body of the candle like most people would usually tell you so you can clearly see that in the opposite side of this one we had the market literally drop hit here go up they did the own thing came all the way close as if it was coming here remember that it must come into the zone right not close to or somewhat close to so eventually coming into the zone then what do we do we look out for a reversal pattern or reversal candle that is going to instigate the idea right that the market is going to go up usually in the opposite side of candle so if it's a bearish candle continuous you want to look out for a bullish candle that literally changes the whole direction and then you want to jump in right subsequently i'm going to shoot more videos on my reversal pattern i've already shot one so if you know what that go watch my video about candlestick reversal pattern that's going to change the game for you so this is a, a demand concept for this strategy that i'm teaching you look at how beautiful and easy it is and then let's look at the subsequent ones as well so we have here again the same kind of thing playing out isn't it right where we have the market go up to this point drops comes back there we watch out for the rejections the first bearish candle that goes in the opposite direction we jump in on this street and we literally have this one dropping in our favor as easy as a b c right so all you want to do is have immense patience to wait for the setup that's what most people do not have the patience for and also wait for subsequent rejections when the market is in those range and once you're able to master these two things then you are on the right path into understanding how sniper entry strategies literally work so i'm going to end this video here hope you guys loved it it was very insightful short straight to the point and i'm going to subsequently shoot a forward video that is just going to build on this knowledge that you've already received here if you love this concept and then you like the strategy that I just taught you, smash the like button, destroy it, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't done that, click in the link in the description to join the Kojo Forex Telegram community and follow me on all social media at K-O-J-O-F-R-E-X, Kojo Forex. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.